Hey, Oscar. Is this the face of a dangerous dog? When dog rescue Dunedin volunteer Kimberly first fostered Oscar, his behaviour was in line with his description as a dangerous dog breed, being half bull mastiff and half Sharpe. She says her experience with Oscar has taught her these sexing dogs does help with some personality traits. But um, definitely fixing your dog makes a huge difference. Having them neutered or spayed, um, he bit his whole personality changed, which was great. I mean, he was a five-year-old whole male dog when I got him, so dog rescue put him through the through the vets, and he came out fixed and beautiful. And yeah, he's amazing. Oscar's mum Kimberly believes dangerous behaviour in dogs can generally be trained out of most breeds. Her thoughts are echoed by Deborah Hansen, who says people sometimes react to her dog Smudge with fear. Well I believe most of it was the bringing up of the dog. Um, there would be genetics but do uh, Smudge, people look at him and think, oh what is he? Is he a killer? Uh, because he's, you can't tell what breed he is but he is the most placid, well-behaved dog ever. We've had him from when he was a puppy and he's never done anything bad or he's been a really easy dog. Tackling the nature or nurture argument in canine behaviour, Head of Genetics at Otago University, Peter Dearden, believes it's more to do with the environment the dogs are in rather than breeding. Well, I think, I, I think there's, a, there's a great deal of nurture in here as well. Obviously, when you think about things like um, tiny little pugs and toy dogs, you know, we tend to think of them as not being aggressive dogs, but they can be. You know, it's just that they're, they're likely to cause a lot less damage than a dog the size of mine. So um, I think, but it's about, I think there's a lot of training. That the, there's clearly dogs which have an aggressive tendency can be trained not to attack and, and dogs that have non-aggressive tendencies can be trained too. So what's one of the really interesting things about dogs is their ability to learn things and to, to train those behaviours. They're very, very good at it. And I think that's what a lot of is interesting about dogs, but also it's a lot of where the problems come. Visiting genetic researcher Eleanor Carlson says her research with man's best friend can in years to come actually help to solve issues in psychiatric medicine for humans as well. And so actually one of the things that we're focused on are understanding things like anxiety in dogs. So some dogs get very anxious when there's thunderstorms or things happen in their world. They just have a very hard time handling it. And there's some dogs that are just completely chill and not bothered by anything. And one of the things we're interested in is how are differences between the DNA of those of chill dogs and anxious dogs, how is this actually different? Carlson says it's fantastic that non-invasive animal research can help humans as well. Carlson says her genetic research project does not have an end date. Darrell Baser, The South Today.